Welcome to Great Loop Lifestyles. This is our video for Solomons, Maryland. And this was a real quick stop for us, just one night. We typically don't do a Great Loop Lifestyle video when we just stay one night someplace because we just don't have enough time. But Solomons was really a lovely stop, very boating friendly town. And I decided to take a walk from our marina to the Calvert Marine Museum. And I passed so much interesting stuff along the way that I just really wanted to share them through a Looper Lifestyle video. So the first one, as you leave the marina areas that are marked there on the map in red, um, is a little bit of shopping. This is the pier there, and you can see there's a wine tasting room and a gift shop and a nice restaurant, and just a very quaint Chesapeake type of place. And you can see that here in the crab pots that are ready to go out into the water, the fishing and waterman influence that's here in Solomon's. There is also a little library along the walk there from the marina to the museum. And if you have not seen one of these little libraries, they're in several of the Great Loop stops that we've made. And the idea is that you can take a book and read it. And at the next stop along, you can drop the book back off and choose another one. So a great bonus to boaters. There's also this lovely church right near the marinas that you can pass on your walk and some beautiful houses along the way as well. I really enjoyed a park that had this adorable kids play set that looks like a boat and there were even picturesque farms along the way that were right there on the banks of the Chesapeake. For attractions besides all those beautiful views the Calvert Marine Museum is really the best game in town. The displays here were even better than some of the other maritime museums we've seen along the way. There was this display of some antique outboard motors there were displays that showed some wooden boats and the history of how they were built and when they were built and the Chesapeake Bay's influence as a recreational playground on the boating industry. And there were even displays on shipbuilding that extended into the outdoor area where there was a shed in the area of one of the main attractions. And that main attraction is the Drum Point Lighthouse. So moving outside, you can see the boat building going on in the shed there in the shadows of the lighthouse. You'll see the lighthouse in a moment, but the Drum Point Lighthouse was operational from 1883 to 1962 when it was de decommissioned. It was originally 125 yards offshore, and after its decommissioning, it was moved in 1972 to its current location at the Calvert Marine Museum. So we definitely recommend Solomon's as a stop we, of course, as I said, were only there for one night, so only had the opportunity to really check out one restaurant, but it was called C&D Cafe. It was highly recommended by all of the locals we spoke to, and it did not disappoint, so we recommend you check it out, too. When we returned to the boat, we had a wonderful sunset as we prepared to move on the next day. Our next leg will take us to Annapolis, so be sure to check out that Great Loop cruising video coming out soon. Thanks for watching.